Hey everyone, Reverend Geek here, and it's been a while. Yes, been quite a while. A lot of Star Wars news has happened, but I'm not here per se for Star Wars news, no. I'm here to do my first unboxing for you. Now, what I have here, I have NerdBlock. And for those of you that don't know what NerdBlock is, it is a subscription-based service that specializes in, well, all things nerd. Um, or, in Reverend Geek's case, geeky. Anyway, here we go. This is what the box looks like. It has information here, like where you can go on social media. This is what is called the classic nerd block. Uh, nerd block has NerdBlock has six subscription services. They have NerdBlock Junior for boys, NerdBlock Junior for girls, which are for ages 12 and under. There is NerdBlock Classic. There is NerdBlock, or what they call the Horror Block, which has all things horror. There is the Arcade Block, which is for the video game people. And there is the Comic Block, which is for people that are into comics. Now, I am in no way getting paid by NerdBlock for this. I am doing this because it is my birthday this month, and we heard that NerdBlock Classic was going to be a Star Wars block. So, without further ado, got my knife, got this sealed up, and I did it wrong. I did it towards me. But... Let us see what is in the nerd block. Okay, so first things first, we have a shirt. Now, this looks cool. Um, by your command. Now, what's cool about this, and uh, you might not know this, this is actually, and I don't need the card for this. This is actually a, um, actually I can't wait to wear this, um, for sci-fi geeks, Battlestar Galactica, that is the Cylons, and what they have here, they actually have combined the Cylons from the original series, which is the silver part that you see, and the gold part from the uh, reimagining. So you have the, the silver part, which is from the Warren Green Dirt Benedict 78 series, and the gold part from the J Edward James Olmos Katie Sackoff series. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. That This is something that you would see people wear at a convention and get, you know, a lot of people talking. So uh, next off. Ah, well, I'm not a big Supernatural fan, sorry, but uh, this is something for Supernatural fans. It is one of those vinyl figures. Um, this is a surprise figure. This is uh, made by Funko, so Funko Pop people. Um, so I don't know what one is in here, but there are a few, and who knows, maybe I just might give this to some friends of mine who are big Supernatural fans. Um, ooh, now this is good. Now, Star Wars and Star Trek, people tend to fight a lot. Um, my father-in-law is a huge Star Trek fan, but this is pretty cool. I like this. This is, um, something that's going to go on the Reverend's desk here. Uh, it's the Enterprise, um, original from the series. I like this. Uh, it's a springy figure. Let's see. Just comes right out. I like that. Let's see. Oh, look at this. All right, bouncies. I like that. Um, it says right here, Star Trek: The Original Series. I don't know if we can get that in. Get that. Yeah, Star Trek: The Original Series. So that's pretty cool. That is a cool collectible and. Uh, I'm going to have to find some place on the uh, Reverend's back here where you see the TARDIS. And I don't know if you can see up here, I got some Batman and Cap. So I think that's going to go up there. So um, let's see. 
trying to make this so I don't lose stuff. All right. So, um, let's see. Next, we got uh, Life uh, Finds Us Away, Kevin Bacon. Jurassic Galaxy, and uh, this is actually a, a funny little mishmash combination. Um, now, you got Star Lord and Jurassic Park, you got the lightsaber from uh, Force Awakens, and you got Terminator heads. So, this is a very mishmash thing in Jurassic Galaxy, mainly because. Um, why can't I think of his name? But the guy that played Star Lord was also in Jurassic Park or Jurassic World this year. So uh, this is kind of a fun, funny little thing. Uh, I'll probably find a frame for this and put it in. Uh, I believe this was a poster that sold out originally, and so now they gave us a um, copy of it, which uh, still is pretty cool. And lastly. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. What else do we got here? Um, oh, we got a card. This is one thing NerdBlock does. They send you a card with everything that comes in it. And then they also give you a card that tells you uh, or gives you an idea of what's going to happen in the next one. And this one says, uh, this October, NerdBlock is celebrating Halloween with a monster-sized party of a block. You might even say it's a block party. You won't need to go trick-or-treating to get a bag full of ghoulish goodies because Nerd Block has you covered. Next month's block will be packed with spooky surprises and sweet treats, and it's getting delivered right to your door. We've sent invitations to ensure this block is packed with a variety of classic characters you know and love. And I'm looking at this, trying to figure this out, and I see uh, it looks kind of like uh, Time Warp uh, from uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm not sure what this character is. This looks like Alien, and um, this one looks like Mo Slizak from uh, The Simpsons. And then they give you this one, and ooh, they're going to give you a two-pack of vinyl figures. Next month, Nerd Block is delivering a Halloween bash featuring a two-pack of vinyl figures. So I don't know what that means, but vinyl figures are becoming popular. I just bought my wife for our wedding anniversary. Um, well, she's been after Baby Groot or Dancing Groot, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I bought her that for her anniversary, Fungo Pop. But um, she's going to be fighting me for this. This is the last thing in here, and... This is the Star Wars exclusive, which kind of makes me a little disappointed. And honestly, even though I like most of the stuff that came in here, I was expecting a lot of Star Wars stuff. And this is the only thing, which if you don't know by now who this is, you've been living under a rock. This is BB-8, and um, I don't see that this is a, this is actually a real Star Wars collectible, um, but it doesn't say that that he's a collectible or anything here, but this is a plush of BB-8, and uh, he's going to be kind of the R2-D2 of the new trilogy, I guess, even though R2's there, but this is a uh, this is a cool little thing. This, this will go on the back there next to the TARDIS. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's cool. I like this. This is, this is, this is nice. It's, it's got some heavy, uh, heavy weighted thing. I wish I could, like, see, look at that. My hand is pretty much flat holding him, and he is well balanced, um, as you can see. So, there we go, BB-8. All right, so, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Nerd Block, I'm gonna leave a, uh, description, a, a link to NerdBlock if you're interested in it, um, down in the, the comments below in the description. Um, it's a nice service. Uh, boxes run about $20 for the um, classic and uh, the classic horror and arcade blocks. The um, junior blocks, both for boys and girls, and the comic block 
run at about twelve to fourteen dollars so it really depends on your taste and on uh, what you can afford at the time uh... like i said this one for me was a birthday gift and um, while i was expecting more star wars stuff uh... you know the geek the reverend here just got um, you know some cool stuff that probably wouldn't have um, probably after bb8 my favorite thing is probably the shirt because i grew up watching the original Battlestar Galactica on uh, syndicated TV and you know it then the new one came out and I got really involved with that one so but anyway that's it so hope you all have fun have a nice day geek out